Hey everybody, it's Brian Carruthers and welcome to my home. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you all about the network marketing profession. I've invited a good friend of mine, Mr. Darnell Self, who's one of the top earners out there in the industry and in my particular company. We've been great friends for many, many years. Uh, he's earned millions and millions of dollars himself as a network marketer. And I thought I'd have him come over here to the house today to just share with everybody that's watching this video why is it that I chose, why he chose, why we chose to uh, parlay our opportunity with this industry with Legal Shield. Why is Legal Shield the choice that we made to uh, to give us the best opportunity to position ourselves to make as much money and to have as much success and significance and help as many people as we can over the next 10, 20, 30 years out into the future? So, uh, this is Mr. myself. I appreciate that and uh, thanks for inviting me over. And I have to say this before we get started, uh, I owe a lot to this man here. My, I have four kids and um, you know, been married for 18 years now. And my whole life is different uh, because of this man here introducing me to Legal Shield. And I too would try a few different companies in our industry. And I love our industry. I see the trips that people are able to take, the cars that people are able to drive, the, the lifestyle that people are able to have all around the world. And so this is not a knock on the industry at all. We are excited about our particular company, obviously, but I'm excited about the industry because if it wasn't for this industry, we wouldn't have a company and I wouldn't certainly have the lifestyle that uh, we're blessed to have today. So thank you for introducing me to Legal Shield. And I just want to make this raw, transparent, just real talk here with Brian Carruthers. And rarely do people have real talk now about our industry. Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of pretentious talk. And in other words, you know, people say what they think people want to hear. And it's hard for people to even believe what's real, what's not real in our industry. And even though I'm in the industry, there's some distaste even in my mouth about the industry just because of the things I see out there. And so I just don't like when we knock the industry. Let's just talk positively about, you know, what it is that we have. But at the same time, let's be real. And that's what we want to do today. I want to ask you some real questions. This isn't rehearsed. I don't have any notes that uh, I've uh, taken a look at prior to this. I'm just gonna ask him a few questions and I want you to speak from the heart. I want it to come straight from Brian Carruthers' heart because I think people need to see that. And I've seen a lot in this industry. I've been around for, for quite a few years and uh, we've earned a significant amount of money in this company, but prior to this company, the thing I heard was you had to be there on the ground floor of that particular company. I mean, the founders of the company, if you started when the company's launched, then you'll be a millionaire. Or if you got there in the first few years, then you'll be one of the top income earners. Well, when Legal Shield came along and you introduced me to Legal Shield, I was a little hesitant because Legal Shield was 27 years old. And I know you heard the things that I heard, which is look, you know, that company's already had its day. The top income earners are always going to be the top income earners. It's over. Why would you do something that's 27 years old? So why Legal Shield? Why, why in the world did you introduce me to a 27 year old company? You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it is an amazing cliche, you know, you, be, you have to be there at the ground floor to make it. And um, when I got involved with this company, uh, after 27 years of being around, I did hear the whole thing. You know, you missed the boat with that, don't, don't bother, don't waste your time, the big earners are already, be, they're already, they're already there. And what I said, you know, I don't want to get involved with the ground floor company because if 90 to 95% of ground floor companies never make it off the ground, or they do make it off the ground, but they don't, they don't continue after three to five years are gone, why would I want to get involved with a ground floor company? I mean, if, if I was your stockbroker and 95 out of 100 times you gave me money, I lost it, would you keep giving me money? Hmm. Of course not. Well, if that's the same uh, reasoning, same logic, then why, why wouldn't you apply to how you select the company, the, the business that you're going to build? So in this industry, if 90 to 95 percent are gone after five years, even if at the beginning they look like they're going to be all flying success, again, we need to actually go look, look at history because the best way to predict future performance is to look at the historical patterns. And so uh, I was actually out in Las Vegas doing a network marketing a training with uh, about 15 or 16 other top network marketing um, professionals and, and top earners from other companies. And at this, at this event, there was about 600 people in the audience, and we had thousands that were, that were streaming in from all over the world. And um, I was asked to get up there and do about an hour, hour and a half talk. And at the beginning, I was supposed to share my story. And I, I went through how I got started and how I've been with Legal Shield now for 14 years. And all of a sudden, you heard this, this gasp go across the entire crowd. And everybody's like, because you know these people, are, they're shocked. It's a, network marketers are shocked when anybody is in, in the same company for five years, sure. ten years. For me, for almost fourteen years, they're like, no way, because they're they're used to jumping from sinking ship to sinking ship to sinking ship, and hopefully trying to bring a bunch of team with them so they can go out and pop a check for themselves. I didn't want that. I wanted to get involved with a company that was rock solid, proven company with a long track record that's tapping into a ground floor industry, which is what we actually have with Legal Shield. The other thing that was important to me 
was not just about having some kind of a product that I could that I liked, I could use, I could believe in, but more of a mission. And the fact that I, I, you know things I've been involved with in the past, whether it be telecommunications or other products, um, I didn't feel like there was actually a mission. You know, there's so much competition with all these different things that I've uh, evaluated and, and was a part of. And yes, I was trying to present the value in the marketplace. This can save you money. This can be, you know, this is a good product for you. But when you can go get it somewhere else cheaper, then it becomes a commoditized issue. You know, ours is cheaper. We can save you money. But with Legal Shield, I said, you know what? This whole company was founded by accident when Harlan Stonecipher had an accident in his car, and which he didn't cause. He wound up in a hospital. He had health insurance to take care of putting himself back together, but he had nothing in place that would take care of the huge thousands of dollars of legal bills that came out of that accident. And it almost wiped, it completely, it basically wiped out his family. It wiped out his, his finances. And he said, you know, I want to revolutionize or, or basically uh, correct the inequities in our justice system. Equal justice under law is, is a myth. You, don't, you only get as much justice as you can afford. And when, when I heard his mission, his cause and his crusade to go out there and change the legal system for the every man, I said, you know what, I can get behind that. That's a mission that I can, I can, I, I can wake up in the morning and I'm not going to go out and just hustle and sell a product, but I can actually feel like, you know, I'm actually personally involving myself in being a part of the history books of, this, of America to give people access to the legal system. We've all been priced out of our entire lives. Sure, sure. And that's not an easy change. I mean, obviously, it's a strong mission. It's not something you play with. And you've got to really want to change lives. And, you know, sometimes people say that. And even when I first took a look at Legal Shield, you know, I looked at Legal Shield and I needed an opportunity at that time. Unfortunately, I was in a bad financial situation. And so I was looking for an opportunity, not necessarily a product. I was looking for something that was real, something that was solid, and you're absolutely right. When I took a look at the track record in the history of Legal Shield, I was impressed by the generations of success that was in Legal Shield. I'd never seen this before in our industry where there were three or four generations of millionaires in one company. That typically doesn't exist, am I right? Right, right. And so, but absolutely, you know, taking a look at the service that we provide, the mission, you're, you're right on with that. It feels good when I go to sleep. It feels good when I wake up to know that I'm making a difference in, in, in people's lives, empowering them with the service. But not only service, the opportunity. But I've always been told, and, and maybe you can help me out with this with Legal Shield, that if you want something, find someone who already has it. And if you choose to embark upon that same endeavor, hang on to that person, learn from their success, and also learn from their mistakes. Let's talk about the leadership, because leadership means a lot. You know, things rise and fall on leadership. And I know that, you know, you are an incredible leader, not just here in our company, but you've got people who attach themselves to you all across the world, um, just through your website and want to get tips from you and things like that. How do you feel about leadership in regards to our industry and specifically our company as well? Well, you know, leadership is absolutely everything. And the, and the, and the, the challenge in this industry is that, um, we get introduced to different opportunities. We as in the every person out there, they get introduced because their cousin or their mother or their best friend uh, finds out about this great company, this great, great product, this great network marketing business, and, and they introduce it to them. And they get excited because they see the possibilities of what they can do, what kind of income, the residual cash flow, whatever, and they decide, I'm gonna get involved in this business. But that person that introduced them does not really know what's going on because they're brand new themselves. And a lot of times, you have to kind of go upline to find somebody that actually knows what they're doing, has already gone out there and accomplished what you're looking to accomplish. And hopefully, that person, if you find that person, if that person is still around in the company, hopefully they're still engaged enough that they can help you to get where they are. Because a lot of times I find that people who get to a you know, six-figure and even a six-figure monthly income, uh, by, get, when, by the time you get to that point, you know, they're kind of off the elevator. They're much more shaking hands, kissing babies, and just kind of looking at their past accolades, but they're not really engaged in working with the brand new person that signs up today, and they're not willing to take their time to help that person get to where they are. They've, kind of, they've arrived, and so, you know, it, it's very hard in this industry to find somebody who actually can be a real mentor, somebody who's actually gone out and done it, but they're still doing it, and they care enough about you, and they're not just all about making money for themselves, they want to help you to become successful. So I think that's very, very important. And I know you've got incredible leadership, which is why your team has created so many countless six-figure income earners and millionaire club members. So leadership, you're, you embody that uh, better than anybody. Um, but I think that, you know, are there good industry leaders out there and other companies? Yeah, there's great leaders to be found. Uh, so again, I love the industry. Um, I just wish that um, everybody could understand how to properly evaluate an opportunity sure. and, and, and properly pick the right company 
and with that has the right product and the right compensation plan and the right mentorship and so forth. Oh, I want to talk about uh, real quickly about the um, about the, the actual Legal Shield product because this is this is this is I think a huge um, paradigm shift for me. When I first heard about legal services, Legal Shield, I, I, I wasn't interested. I had no interest. It, it wasn't sexy to me. It wasn't something that I was had any personal interest in. I didn't I'd never really personally used. So I'm thinking, why would I prepay for services I don't use? So uh, fortunately, I got beyond that. Fortunately, the information was shared with me in a way where I actually was able to get uh, get uh, on the other side of that and actually truly open up my mind and evaluate what this legal service actually does for people. And what I found was it was it was it was completely different. I went from saying I don't need something like that to looking at this presentation and within 10 minutes. I said that is the biggest no-brainer I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I, mean, I, it was, it was one, I felt like I'd be a fool not to sign up for the service because I could have used it so many times in my life already, and I knew I would be using it in, in the future. So when I saw the service, I got excited about what it actually could do in my life and for other people. But the other thing is, is in most network marketing business models, the, the product has to be priced up. It has to be marked up for profit. And so if it costs $5 to make that product, they have to sell it for $20 because they have all those upline distributors they need to pay commissions to, plus the company needs to make their profit. And plus all the packaging, packaging, and all the marketing materials, and everything else. So you have a five dollar product; it makes it to the end consumer for twenty bucks. Is that a, is that a great deal for the consumer? Not, not really. But the only company I've, I've I've ever seen in this entire industry that actually has a a product that's actually marked down for sale. You know, a typical attorney charges two, three, four hundred dollars an hour, and this company is selling uh, a service for literally as little as le less than twenty dollars a month. For you to have access for the same thing it costs two or three hundred dollars an hour for. Sure. So we're talking about pennies on the dollar. So as far as a product is concerned, it's price for sale, not price for profit. Yet we make an absolute fortune. We'll talk about compensation plan in a, in a few minutes. But uh, it's also a, a standalone product, which simply means that people would want to uh, buy and own it, even if they were not attached to the business opportunity that, that's that's available. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you an example. That same conference I spoke at, the Network Marketing General tra Generic Training Event. Uh, one of the top earners in another company got up on stage and shared his story, how he had been through 11 different companies over the last 15 or 20 years or whatever it's been. Out of 11 companies, he said he, he was not still using the same products, except for one, which was a legal service company. He was referring to Legal Shield. Mm -hmm. He's still an actual user of Legal Shield, even though he's not involved with the company. Right. All the other companies that he used their products, he's not using them anymore. See, that, that means that typically people use that twisted mind effect. You know, I love this product because I can sell it and make money from it. But when they right. stop selling it to make money from it, they don't love it anymore. But I, I watch so many people that maybe their life changed or maybe they, they, had, they, they moved and changed careers or something. And they, they had some kids and they, they kind of lived off the gas pedal with Legal Shield. Even if they're not working the business at, the point, at that point in time, they still have the membership. Sure. So that was very important for, for me. And the other thing is the whole non-Me Too product, uh, you know, uh, uh, component, you know, we don't have other competitors that are out there trying to compete with us. You know, how many other legal plan brochures are sitting on your home, on, uh, on your desk at home right now that you can compare us to? Because when I looked at this, I didn't have any other legal plan brochures to compare it to. And when I talked to people over the last 13, 14 years, they never say, hey, let me go and compare it at home. Sure. So the fact that, that when I sign somebody up for a legal service with Legal Shield, because there is no competition that's going to go try to scoop them up tomorrow or next year or, next, or, or, or the following year, I've got a, a locked-in customer base. They either they have two choices: stay a customer of mine, or cancel it and go back to paying two, three, four hundred dollars an hour, or go back from being go, go from being empowered to disempowered, right. to be you know protected or being taken advantage of. Price you know available to tap into the legal system, or again go back and be priced out of the legal system. Our product is is the main ingredient. You know we've got a strong company, but it's that product that's absolutely second to none out there. So I think that's probably a great way. No, I, absolutely. And I feel good knowing that when I was in my 20s and I marketed this service to people, some of those customers are still paying for, the, for, for this service. They're not attached to the opportunity. Right. So our member base, or well, folks who are taking advantage of the service, and our associate base are not one and the same. Right. And typically, you're absolutely right, people, we call it direct selling, but really it's a direct buying club. Because most folks buy into the company so they can get it at a discount and get the product wholesale. Why wouldn't you if you're going to like the product and use the product? But here it's completely different um, because people have to join this because they actually want to go out and market it, want to go out and make an incredible income because it's not a discount for joining for, for the product itself. You've got to love this product. And so people who keep the product must love the product because they're not getting a discount for it. So it's completely separate. And, and, and some, some people actually take our service 
and without even using network marketing, because you should be another network marketing company where you can go out and earn a living just selling that product. That, that means you've got a great business model. That means that business model can, can last and survive. Sure. Other than just you know recruiting distributors and getting uh, startup fees. And that's where a lot of companies use startup fees to actually perpetuate their model. We have countless people. I mean, I'm talking about hundreds of people in Legal Shield that are making full-time livings and even six-figure incomes without recruiting, just taking the service into companies as an employee benefit. Right. I don't see that anywhere else out there in the no, industry. No, no, and I've never seen it. And I actually have examples of that within my own organization. People say, look, I'm not really into recruiting. I don't even know how to recruit. I've never recruited anybody in my life. I'm a teacher. But they're making significant income, you know, six-figure income, just on a product alone. And that's extremely rare. Uh, in, in, our, in our industry. Let me ask you this question because you know, I worked at the mall and when we sold clothing, uh, we made money, the, the store made revenue that day. But if the next day someone came in to return those the pair of jeans, let's say, and say, look, you know, I found them cheaper at another department store. Um, I, I don't want these anymore. Hey, I'm gonna, or people came in and say, I'm just looking because they're comparing it to something else. And so I've never had anyone since I've been involved with Legal Shield say to me, uh, well, you know, I'm, let me think about it because I'm going to compare this. Or, hey, look, I'm going to drop yours because I found something else comparable. And that's key to longevity here. And I feel good being in my 40s. I don't want to go out and look for something else because my book of business has gone somewhere else. You know, I want to be able to say, look, this is where I am. This is home. And I believe networkers are looking for a home today. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. They're tired, tired of jumping around. Okay. Yeah, I think people want, and even though, yes, things are sexy, things look good out there, people want to feel like they have some sense of security and freedom because that's what they're used to with a job, a sense of security. And network marketing typically doesn't offer that, unfortunately. We say it offers freedom and, you know, it's a little pretentious. Because we talk about from stage, you know, hey, look, you, you can free your life up, financial independence. And unfortunately, most people have to continue to rebuild it because their customer base is gone. Associates are going to come and go. Listen, in our industry, in Legal Shield, they come and go. And whatever company you may be with, they're going to come and go. That's just the bottom line. They did it at my store. They do it at my church. They do it everywhere, right? So we're talking about the customer base, though. We want them to stick around. So, uh, let me move on from, from the product list. Is there something else you want to share about the product? No. I, I, mean, I would like to talk about, honestly, the, um, the, the compensation because that's, that, that's, that's exactly really, what I want. Yeah. that's what a lot of the network marketers are looking for. Show me the money. I'll, I'll fall in love with the product if I'm making money selling it, okay? If I can't make money, I don't even, don't even show me the product. And I think that uh, one of the most important parts of the compensation model is to understand that in most network marketing companies, you've got to do a whole lot of sales to make some money. And I believe that the magic in this industry happens when an average person can get started and go out and, and pretty quickly make $1,000. I'm not talking about getting rich, but make $1,000. That's meaningful money, $1,000 in a month. And in most network marketing companies, you need to do six to $10,000 in sales volume to make $1,000 in your pocket. Now, think about and, and with, with most um, companies that you might look at, what product that you're selling for example, I would, uh, and just so I can measure apples and apples, when, again, as I evaluate, uh, as I evaluate Legal Shield, and as I continue to always measure it up against what it is that's out there to make sure I'm still in the right place at the right time, is that a $46 sale of a dip, of a bottle of vitamins, a bottle of juice, or whatever, versus a $46 sale with Legal Shield, you know, I've got to do, you know, a $46 sale with a, with a with typical product is going to generate maybe five or six, seven dollars commission if you're lucky. With Legal Shield, you're talking about anywhere from, from $34 up to $250. So instead of having to do six to $10,000 in volume to make $1,000, with Legal Shield, with about $515, you're going to make $1,000. Sure. So six to $10,000 versus $515. That right there was a massive component to why I said, you know what, I can make a lot of money in this business by helping a lot of people go out and make some money. The more people I help make $1,000 a month, the more I, can, the more I would be able to make. And here's what, um, you know, the biggest thing I've ever heard in my 13, 14 almost years in the, in the company so far is that, well, yeah, you guys can make a lot of money on a $46 sale. They're paying out $250 plus, plus, plus on, on that sale, but you guys have chargebacks. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the chargeback. Let me just share this with you because I got involved. I chose to, to participate in this business model because of the chargeback. Let me share with you why. You know, um, I, in my real estate career, if I sold a house, I got paid, but there was no residual income. I was unemployed only as good as my next sale. 
And in the insurance industry, people get involved in insur insurance because they want to go out and sign up customers where they get a big advance commission that gives them the ability to make a living while they're building their book of business. It's going to pay them month after month, year after year, forever. And so if I'm an insurance agent and I sell you an insurance policy, and they gave me a year advance commission on that, which basically 12 months up front, and I kept it for six months or eight months or whatever, and then I decided I don't want the policy anymore, I'm going to go get it from somebody else, well, then that unearned balance will be charged back off of my next commission check as an insurance agent. And you take a look at some of the people, you know, people right here in my neighborhood that are living in million dollar homes. Several of them own insurance companies, they're insurance brokers, they understand leverage, they understand insurance and, and the power of residual income. Um, I love the fact that the company has an advanced commission structure and it has the charge back model. And I'm going to share with you a quick story that's going to demonstrate this. I had a, uh, a guy that I knew that watched me, uh, kind of read my articles a lot in Home Business Connection magazine. And he actually had an ad himself one day in the magazine. And so uh, one of his guys on his team contacted me to try to recruit me into selling this juice product. And uh, he lived here in the area, but the guy that was in the magazine was from California, happened to be coming into town one day. He said, hey, I would like to get you together with so-and-so and have a sit down for lunch for the three of us. And I said, no problem. I get to lunch. I, we, we, we've got the food delivered. And he starts talking about you know, their, their juice product. And he said, he's, he's watched my, my, my story in the industry and how much success I've had. And he goes, Brian, let me just tell you something. As great as you are with Legal Shield, I think you should join me in my company selling juice because we have no chargebacks. And I said, well, look, you just told me that you are widely you know, uh, in, in enthusiastic about the kind of success I've had in my company so far, and that you also are very successful in your company. So you see us kind of going eye to eye. Um, you know, we've been involved in our companies about the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, how much money are you making right now in your company with no chargebacks? He said, I'm making about $7,000 a month with no chargebacks. I said, well, you're telling me that I should leave my company that has chargebacks where I'm making over 80000 a month in the same amount of time to go to your company because you have no chargebacks and you're making 7000 a month. See, I don't, care what the, I don't care about how we arrive at it. Sure. It's the net effect. Right. If I get all these customers, and a, f a few of them for whatever reason, they don't use service or something happens, or they, they, they decide they don't want the service anymore, you net that out, and, and the net effect, not the gross amount. I'm, I'm, when I tell people my income, it's not my gross income. It's my net income. Why would I leave 80000 at the time to go make 7000 just because I don't want to have that one component? Right. Yeah, people are misinformed. That's yeah. all. There's, it, there's a lot of myths in our industry. I you know you'd agree with that. Because nowadays in our industry, you know, people are trying to attract networkers, I believe, for the wrong reasons. Uh, if you want to attract a network, it's because that networker should be looking for a home to stay. Not, not a place to jump and then jump again. It's because you're saying, look, let's look for a place that's, that you can, again, plant your flag in the, in the ground and say, look, we're here forever. This is where we are. You know, I live here in this country, and, and I love the country, and, and I'm proud of it. Well, we want people to say the same thing about that company, not just, look how much, how much money I made, but I'm proud of it. And I'll give you that example, and, and maybe you can, you know, kind of share with me your spin on this and, and what you really feel because the real money is made, and you mentioned it, is from that person's aunt, that person's next door neighbor, that, because there are more social workers, teachers, police officers, engineers, you know, all these different professions in the world than there are networkers. Okay, so if you take all of this group, or you take the networkers, so some people say, if I just get these networkers, it's all over. And that's great if the network is looking for a home. But if the network is only getting into, only continue to look for other networkers, right. then at some point, that dies out because the networkers understand spending $200, $300 a month, or whatever, that auto ship, or whatever it is. But somebody's honest saying, look, I'm just going to go to the department store and get that product. Sure, sure. Because I'm not spending that. And, and that's what I really want to, because this industry is about finding a large group of people who believe in a particular product that you're getting a discount on and will continue to pay for that in spite of the opportunity attached. Right. So how do you feel? Because we're talking about comp plan here, and the, I feel like the only reason that my income is so solid is because I have so many everyday people making a thousand, two thousand a month. Most people in our industry don't make twenty grand a month, don't make eighty grand a month. Sure, networkers, because we have so many people making a thousand dollars a month, average people are going to make eighty thousand a month. Right. But it's only because we have the everyday people making five hundred to a thousand dollars a month. I mean, that person can't recruit anybody. Can only market a couple of memberships a month, a few memberships here and there, right. you know, or whatever that product is, and they can make five hundred dollars a month. That's how the networkers are end up are going to end up making a whole lot of money it's because the masses can make good money. And, and by the way, the the the, the 
ending of that story that I shared mm -hmm. with you about the juice deal, okay. the guy invites his upline to come meet with me, says, hey, you should come because of this. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, why? I, would, I want to stay where I'm at because, you know, so here's what's incredible is that a week goes by and the guy calls me up. He goes, hey, I appreciate you having lunch with us last week. Mm -hmm. And I've been thinking about what you said. And I don't care what that guy's talking about. I want to do what you're doing. He wanted to join me. Wow. So he thought he was going to recruit me. Because, sure. But, but here's, here's, here's what, what you're saying right now is so important because it really comes down to, I take a look at some of the top earners out there in a lot of the different companies, and they're making a whole lot of money, but their team's struggling really, really bad. And so, you know, the biggest factor in a network marketing model for it to have legs, to be able to have longevity, is for, like you said, the the novice networker that's, that can be involved and go out there and recruit somebody who's not a networker. Right. You know, a lot of these companies, you know, these top earners, they've got these big checks and they're created because they had a following of people that are other network marketers, they're not making any money, right. and they bring them all over to their new chosen company. They front load it because they're either front loading a bunch of product or they got a big buy in, you know, 400, 500, 900, or 1,000 dollars just to get into the company. Of course, you go out and recruit a handful of people in your first couple months doing that. You're going to get a big check. Sure. But that doesn't sustain itself unless you can get them to go out there and do that. And I don't, that's why I'm, I'm, look, I've been in the industry for 18 years. And I've watched so many times that people go out and pop a big check. They have this big sizzle. And all of a sudden, everybody else thinks, oh, we can do that too. But they don't realize the story behind the story. Right. And they can't do that too. And so my organization has, has really grown and grown and grown consistently over the last 13, 14 years almost. And, and I, I, I would... I would um, challenge anybody watching this video to show me somebody who in the last decade has put into their business well over 300,000 distributors. Show me somebody that's done that. Right. And, they're, and, they're, and I'm not saying it's because of me, I'm just a, a, a leader that's helping to, to build that kind sure. of a team, but it's because it does duplicate. And duplication's everything. You know, you got people with these fancy personalities and all these great skill sets, and they go out there and they do all this great stuff, but it doesn't duplicate. So they might be making a bunch of money, but the average person can't duplicate. And that's why we have so many six-figure income earners and stay-at-home parents and people who are living off their full-time money in Legal Shield because it does perpetuate, it does duplicate. And one thing I want to I share about the, the compensation package is that um, it is so long-lasting. We have true residual income, meaning that if everybody in my entire team stopped selling memberships today, they should completely stop. I'll still have income coming in next year, the next year, the next year, the next year, and to the same degree that I'm making right now, I mean, I've got just, just my residual part, just my as-earned residuals are about $100,000 on a monthly basis. So if you think about what is, is possible in this business, um, you know, we have a book called Profiles of Success. And in the book has all these people that are making six-figure plus incomes from home. Right. But there are some people that are in the book that I'm sad to say are, are not alive anymore. Um, we, we, you and I both have friends of ours that, have, uh, that were in Legal Shield. Unfortunately, you know, like David Stecky out in California, a good friend of mine who, who passed away. Sure. And, um, you know, he built the business for whatever it was, five or six years, built it up to about a quarter million dollars a year in income. And Sherelle, his, his, his wife, who's his surviving spouse, is actually, she's receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in, right. in, in, in cash flow, true residual income, because she's not really building the business, right. but she's got the money that keeps on coming in. See, that's when I. What, what makes me so excited about Legal Shield, and I wake up every morning in passion to go out and keep on building it, is because I love to help the new people, but also know that everything I do in this business is going to benefit me, and, and, and when I'm gone, it's going to benefit my son. I mean, I can stop the business today, not working a day in my life. I still, I'll still have seven figures coming next year, the next year, the next year. And my son, who's six right now, depending on who watched the video, maybe you watch this year from now, maybe seven, and as, he goes, as he gets older, you know, he's going to inherit that book of business. Right. And the company's already been around 40 years paying out residuals. Right. It's going to be around another 40 years paying out residuals. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. There's almost 40,000 people now receiving residual income, like real residual income, without any advanced commission from any sale. So a good reason. Yeah. Uh, thank you for introducing me to Legal Seal. Yeah. Listen, I, I know we've been chatting for a little while, and I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thank you for having me over. But Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> you know, what I, would, what I don't want to do, let me just say one more thing, because... <laughs> You know, I know your intention here. I know you say, hey, look, let's just be transparent, but let's just be nice on, on the industry and all that. And look, believe me, I love the whole network marketing profession. I love what everybody, look, people get involved in this business. There's, look, there's bad people in every industry, but most people are genuine. They're getting involved in this business for themselves to be able to go out there and accomplish what their why is. They want to be able to be a stay-at-home parent. They want to be able to retire their spouse. They want to be able to give to their church. They want to do all these great things. So most people get involved with, with, with great intent. 
But a lot of times what, what people are attracted to, almost like moths to a flame, is to the, to the sizzle. It's they, don't, they don't care about the steak. Just show me the sizzle. Show me, you know, get me excited about something. And you get all these you know, companies that are doing all kinds of different things out there. Sure. And so what I really love what's happened over the last 12 months is our company, you know, PPL, Pricket Legal, was actually bought by a private equity firm out of New York for $650 million. And they've completely re overhauled the company, rebranded, it's now called Legal Shield. And they said, hey, we're going to take this to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. And the sizzle that we didn't have, now look, our team has been paid well over $300 million without the sizzle. Right. We're just on the merits of what it is. But now we have that's a sizzle. That's true commissions. That's not, those aren't points. That's not about oh, yeah, exactly. revenues. Right. Because that gets mixed up. You it's know not BB, AB, CB, whatever that BBB stuff is. It's just sure. real just straight dollars. But right. the company has now put in place some of the most attractive perks that I've seen out there in the industry. For example, uh, we now have a Legal Shield BMW program. So if you get qualified for the Performance Club, which basically you get five points a month. Now this is incredible. Most companies out there that have a car, bo a car bonus program, you've got to do anywhere from six thousand to thirteen thousand dollars a month right. to qualify for a five hundred dollar car check to go get a car. Six to thirteen thousand dollars a month in volume. With Legal Shield, you can sell our product for as little as seventeen dollars a month. And I said, if you just go get five customers, okay. And by the way, seventeen dollars plus a ten dollar one time loan fee. So basically, it's a twenty seven dollar sale, five of those a month which is 527 is $135 a month. Not 6000 to 13000 but $135 a month. 12 months, 24 months. It, take it out as long as you want. $500 a month that you're going to get to go out and get a brand new BMW. Right now, as of this taping, every other day, every other day, another person in Legal Shield is getting a brand new BMW. It's crazy. On top of that, the company is also doing trips. The same five points for the car right. gives you the same points to be able to qualify for a trip. Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, Cancun, Atlantis, the Bahamas. Just, uh, just in 2012, we just got back from a trip a few weeks ago from, from Maui. All airfare, hotel, everything paid for, and $600 spending cash when we got there. Not for the top five or the top ten. Right. Which are in, those, in a lot of companies, you're never going to be one of those top five or top ten. In Legal Shield, 1,000 people were sent on these trips. It's amazing. 1,000. On, yeah. on top of that, we now, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to bruise no, you. Good, good. But we have the, the, platinum, the platinum world that is just introduced. Sure. To be able to say, hey, look, you know, you want to go big, dream big, and make th big things happen? They're going to actually really reward you. You know, two thousand up to, you know, uh, to $2,000 a month in a lifestyle bonus to go out there and do whatever you want to do. Increase your lifestyle, whatever, in your wardrobe, your jewelry, uh, pay off bills, whatever you want to use that for. Uh, we also have uh, profit sharing. Where like everything the company's doing, can you imagine if you actually not only earned on your downline, but you also earned on all the other top producers in your company because a part of their profits went to you as well, profit sharing, right. which is thousands of dollars and even more than that per month. And then right. on top of that, they now have the Bentley program. And just on the other side of this house in my garage, I got a brand new 2012 Bentley GT convertible, a $238,000 car that I didn't have to pay for. It's coming from the company. Right. So... My point is that we have a rock-solid company. We have a massive need for the service. Everybody needs it. Everybody can afford it. They're all going to get it when they learn about it. The only reason why anybody doesn't have a legal show membership is because they don't know about it yet. Right. We have a compensation plan that pays more money on less effort and less sales volume and faster. We pay daily than any company out there that I've looked at. We've got the timing. We have less than 3% market penetration, which means 90 at, 97 out of 100 people you and I know, they don't have our service yet. Whereas you go over into Euro Euro European countries like in Germany, 80% market penetration for a, a legal plan like this. Right. Here in America, in the U.S. and, and, and in Canada, we don't, nobody's got it yet. Right. They're all going to find out about it. You're going to start seeing TV commercials on national TV. Well, you jumping ahead my last question here. I thought you were getting ready to wrap up. <laughs> no, my last question okay. because, you know, we just went through a transition. And I've been so excited. It's been hard for me to sleep at night. And people say, I can't believe you're that excited when you've been around for 14 years. Like people say, I can't believe you're so excited about your wife been married for 18 years. Well, it's new for me all the time. And when you love what you do and you love the relationships that you have, and I do, you know, it's, it's hard for you to look back at what you did 10 years ago, 5 years ago, even last month. You know, as, as, as early as this taping. There are billboards going up. There's commercials being played. This has never happened effectively in direct sales ever before. Like, ever. Right. Um, for many reasons. Most people are already aware of the product, so why would you place commercial unless you're just trying to sell the product? But there's never really been a reason to brand something because most people are aware of the industry that's already out there. 
And so if I come up with a new automobile today, I don't need to brand the automobile industry because people are already familiar with Toyota, Honda, uh, Honda, what have you. And so all I have to do is let people know about my particular car. Right. But we have to brand the industry. People are unaware that an industry like this exists. Industry so, of legal shield. Of legal shield, yeah. yeah. That's what it means. Yeah, so if you can close out with that because I believe that's the reason why now everything is up. Right. I mean, retention is up. We, you know, more people are sticking with the business with our customers, our, our, the service. Right. Uh, we've got uh, more people getting paid more money than ever before. Um, from the time last month when the stat came out, we have 50% more people getting paid in the first 30 days than two years ago. Right. So that means anyone who's new in their first 30 days, 50% of people are getting started now are getting paid more money or Rather, people are getting paid now 50% more than they did two years ago. Well, I mean, look, here's the thing. Every single metric, and there's five or six metrics, whether it be new sales, new recruits, uh, uh, commission per associate, uh, retention of the customer, retention of the associate, every one of those metrics for the last seven months in a row is going up, 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 up. Sure. So we're on a very positive, uh, fast-paced trajectory right now. And the reason why that excites me, because look, I've seen plenty of companies out there in the industry that have those kind of trajectories too. Right. They usually have it at the front end of their company when it's all new and exciting, not 40 years later. Right. The reason why it's happening right now is because people are starting to realize Legal Shield is a whole new ballgame. Right. It's not prepaid legal, which by the way, prepaid sounds like prepaid calling cards or prepaid phones, prepaid credit cards. It's people to get something that they can't otherwise afford to get the real thing. Right. So it used to sound like prepaid legal services, legal services for people who couldn't afford to get real attorneys. And so after they spent several hundred thousand dollars with the top notch, the, the, the top shelf um, marketing analysis and research companies down in Texas to actually really spend several months evaluating the marketplace and evaluating our product, had focus groups with, with unaware public people, and they realized that they, we needed to change the name, we, we changed uh, some marketing and, and, and materials. I mean, it's, it, and here's what they found, is that we're going to go from 1.4 million members right now which is where we're, where we're at after the last several decades, so 1.4 million members, to go from there in the next three to five years to 7 million. So from 1.4 to 7, and this is not you and me saying, this right. is what we hope is going to happen, and we're going to go convince our downline that it's going to happen so we can hype them up. This is, third, this is not corporate saying this. Right. This is what third-party uh, analytical companies, that this is what they do for a living, They're right. working with the AT&Ts and the other big corporations sure. in the world, they're expecting us because of the uh, the percentage of the unaware public that said in these focus groups that they would buy it if it was available to them, if it was presented to them, they would buy it on the spot. We're going to go from 1.4 to 7 million. Now understand, when we when I joined this company, okay, when after it was already 27 years old, we were just under 1%. Now we're just over 2% market penetration. Going from just under 1% to just over 2%, I've made well in excess of eight figures. My team has been paid well over nine figures. Hundreds of millions of dollars going from just under 1% to just over 2%. What do you think is going to happen when we go from just over 2% to just over 3%? Forget going like in Germany, 80%, which we will have that here in America at some point in time, and we are the dominant force. We are the Kleenex. We are the Coca-Cola of what we're doing. Right. But just going from here to here, when you decide you want to part, you know, partner up with a company that can give you that kind of growth potential, there is no other company out there that has this kind of, everything we just talked about has it all together. Right. We have our act together. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> Well, I'm going to stop before you explode here, and uh, it is exciting, and thank you for uh, this interview. Thank you for allowing us to um, to share with the world the real Brian Carruthers, and uh, hopefully you're all able to uh, to gain what I'm able to gain from this man on a daily basis. One more thing. Yeah. One more thing. Um, when you're talking about me, when you're talking just, uh, not just Legal Shield, but, but, but Brian Carruthers, I, I want everybody to understand that, you know, when I got involved with Legal Shield this time around, so it's not my first network marketing company. I said, you know what, I've seen a lot of people in this industry make money and spend it all. So what I wanted to do is set out with a different mission this time around, and maybe it wouldn't be just about me anymore. You know, a lot of us get involved because we want to go out and make money. We have our goals. I said, this time, I want to show people how they can use this vehicle to go out there and not only make a bunch of money, but how to keep the money, how to actually put that money to work for them, put overalls on their money and have their money go work for them, and actually build wealth versus just churning and burning. Because I see, I see a lot of people make, making six figures and they're spending six figures. Right. I see people, people driving cars that are beyond their means, all kinds of crazy things. So one of the things that I do for our organization is that anybody that is actually trying, I mean, if you're just going out and just doing a little bit within our organization, in your legal show business, every single month, we're doing special live conference call trainings on how to actually build wealth. 
You know, and I've had incredible mentorship. You know, I know you've got a chance to meet my father on numerous sure. occasions. Who he is my rich dad. I didn't have to go find my friend with a rich dad. My father had built one of the largest real estate companies in the East Coast back in the seventies. Started two banks uh, and a furniture company. He's wildly, wildly successful, and I got a chance to learn from him and billionaire Paul J. Meyer and uh, and many other sources. So for me to be able to take that information and not just use it in my life to go, to save and, and grow my money, which is what I like to do. Right. My goal is to take everybody who chooses to be a part of our team. And, and choose to go out there and do the effort to make the money, I'm going to make sure you keep that money. I'm going to make sure that your bank, look, forget the cars and the rims and the jewelry and all that kind of stuff that a lot of people use to this day. I need to have that stuff to go out there and show the world my outward expression that I'm actually succeeding. Instead of all that, you can get all that stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to actually look at your bank account at night. Because if you have all that stuff, but your bank account you look at and you get depressed, you know, your libido, your self-confidence, your, your, uh, your posture in all your dealings in life is, is far less than what it should be. So... My goal is for everybody to understand not just why Legal Shield. Going back to one of the first questions about leadership and how leadership is important, the leadership that we can provide to people that are part of the Legal Shield, our organization, is to be able to help them make money, help them keep money, help them grow the money, and help them use that money to go out there and impact their communities in, in, in the world through charitable organizations like you started and so forth. So anyway, I, again, I know this video has gone a little bit longer than the initial 10 minutes. It's probably more like 30. But uh, I definitely hope that you got some kind of inspiration from the stories that we were able to share. Uh, look, even if you're not even in the legal shield, just understand you're in the right industry. You've got to find the right passion for what you're doing. Get the right mentor. Go out there and give it the effort that it deserves, and you'll get the results that you're looking for. We appreciate your time. See you on the beaches of the world.